Hello, and thank you for joining us for this discussion on how organizations can find their most meaningful data. I'm Brad Steinbacher with The Brave New, and joining me today is Kyle Club, Practice Director of Advanced Analytics at Redact. Kyle, when you talk about meaningful da data, what type of data are you talking about? So yeah, data, of course, we have lots of it. Uh, we've heard this uh, over the years, just the amount of data that's available globally and to organizations. But the challenge really is to find the relevant data uh, in a timely manner that helps with two real achievements to any analytics organization, which is better decision making and problem solving. So for, you know, really to look at, you really need to look at, don't start with the data, start with the business questions and the problems that you're trying to solve, get those into a state that's workable. And at that point, dive into the data and only go after what's going to solve those problems or help the decision making. So given the sheer amount of, of data and organizations have access to these days, how can they A, keep up with it all and B, do that identification of meaningful data? So technology has allowed us to store tons of data. So the cost per terabyte, you know, those units of measure are relatively cheap. So we do have companies that will store everything either for compliance reasons or they feel it may be valuable in the future. So the technology really is there and it's fairly inexpensive. As we do that, we need to catalog, classify it, tag it appropriately. So when certain business questions and problems arise, uh, data professionals can access them quickly. So there's different technology packages out there. Um, you know, we use Azure, AWS, GCP, and, and they have flavors of different ways to classify and tag data. Um, which would be part of a larger governance initiative, which is extremely important. So what are the potential problems that not identifying and sifting out non-meaningful da data can cause an organization? Um, for data to be meaningful, it has to be relevant for that particular need. So we could have data that is not seen as useful sitting around for years, and then there is a business question that requires we pull it uh, or transform it in a way that would be meaningful. So. Uh, time tends to change our uh, how we view data, how valuable it may be, again, depending on the context. But we want to make sure that, again, the data is there available to us, that we can find it quickly. Um, compliance reasons, auditing, there's a whole lot of uh, umbrellas of, uh, of auditing and just uh, authority, either through outside agencies that we need to look at, um, and every company is different. Um, so a lot of companies will ingest the data. Again, they don't do the greatest job at tagging it appropriately, classifying it as confidential or very sensitive information. You know, we see this in healthcare and financial industries. Um, it's pretty important, uh, but it's still a challenge that they work with. Great. So how can organizations best apply governments to automatically find and store meaningful data? Uh, you're talking about governance. So if it's, you know, tagging and identifying sensitive information at different sensitive sensitivity levels, you have uh, different roles within the organization. So the, there is the technology that's there that can tag them pretty well. Um, of course, manual tagging is rather expensive. Organizations should have roles and responsibilities to do that. Many organizations have the capability to do it. There's just no actual role or anybody that's responsible for it. So governance tends to go on in organizations. It's just done informally. So it's really exposing what's done informally, formalizing it, look at the gaps, and then really formalizing the roles and accountabilities uh, on who should be responsible and, and what's missing uh, and fill the gap. Got it. So should organizations still hang on to data that isn't meaningful just in case down the road? they might have a use for it? Um, it's really, again, depends on the organization. It could be meaningful later. Some organizations will retain data. Some of them, you know, look back at data that they eventually purged and wish they wouldn't have. Uh, so most organizations today we see will tend to err on the side of saving old data. And it may be not important until years down the road when we need to look at it for new business questions that may arise. So what is meaningless? One year may not be meaningless the next. 
uh, so it's pretty fluid. So the ability to quickly adapt, identify what you need, um, and create an analytics project that quickly uh, transforms and gets to the root of the problem or helps the decision making is super important. So how can Redapt help organizations identify meaningful data and put in place solutions to surface it for use? So we have, you know, the Redapt data maturity model, which helps us at a strategic level really understand the organization and where they're at um, from a lot of different process areas when it comes to the data ecosystem. Um, we, instead of looking at you know, things from a very high level, we like to immediately get at the uh, current objectives of the organization. So whether that's increasing sales or understanding why sales are moving or, or changing or any problems that is, is coming about through operations, you know, supply chain issues, um, it really depends on what the organization's objectives are. And then we'll focus on that, identify the pieces of data that's going to get them to a better decision making point and also to solve the problems. Um, so we need to do that as quickly as possible in an agile fashion. Great. Well, let's wrap things up there. Thanks, Kyle, for joining us. And if you have any more questions about meaningful data or data in general, reach out to the experts like Kyle at redap.com. Mm -hmm.